friends, this is Raman Gill with your daily Forex market analysis for October 27th, 2016. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. If you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. We'll start off by taking a look at our economic calendar here. In the morning, we have Spanish unemployment rate and then M3 money supply. And going into 4.30 a.m. Eastern, we have preliminary GDP number for British pound. So that's one of the major news here. And we'll have to pay attention to that. Other than that, fairly quiet in terms of the London session. Going into the U.S. session here, we have core durable goods orders for the U.S. and unemployment claims number and durable goods and pending home sales for U.S. here as well. In the Asian session, we have household spending numbers for Japan and Tokyo core CPI numbers as well, followed by PPI numbers for Australian dollar. Let's move on to the charts here. We are looking at Euro US dollar daily chart. This is an interesting candle. We see a big rejection from the top and yet a bullish close on the candle. So here the interesting thing is now we have this 10900 level. Yesterday we had talked about how if the prices stayed above 109 level, we are likely to go see the 10950 level, which is what happened here. At this point, if the prices do stay and as they are holding above 109, if they hold above the 10900 level, we are likely to see another push towards 10950. And if this level breaks, we are back into this support and resistance level here at 1020. So this is what we would be looking for. If they break down below 109, then we are looking for 10850 level. So at this point, the prices are right smack in the middle. If they stay above 109, we're looking for a move to the top side. If they drop below 109 and hold below 109, then we are looking for a move to the downside. So that's where we'll have to see how this plays out tomorrow. Looking at the one hour chart here, we see that they're just playing with this pivot point level price is holding above the support and resistance level at 109. The longer the price stays above 109, the higher the chances that it will move higher. So in this case, our first target would be the 109.50 level. And then we are looking for this move up into 1.1020. So the 1020 level right here into R3. So that's sort of the criteria we're looking for. If the prices do drop below 10900, the next level we're targeting to the downside will be 108.50. So the daily candle here is a neutral candle where we have a rejection, big pin bar on the top that shows rejection. However, we have a bullish close. So it becomes a very neutral candle. And as a result, we'll be open to the moves on both sides of 109. Looking at pound US dollar here, we do see a bullish candle close, which would suggest a move to the upside here. We are in the middle of a range here. We've been trading in this range for last couple of weeks. And as such, we are looking for the prices to move higher here. Looking at the one hour chart here, prices have been capped uh, at the, this 21.2250 level. If the prices stay below 122.50 level, we could see this move back into the bottom here. However, once the prices break up above this level 122.50, we're looking for prices to move to the top of the range, which is at 123.30. So again, this is right in the middle of the range. And as such, we are looking for the price to trade on either side of this 122.50, which is our key level. We did see a big inefficient move to the downside, which got filled. And right now we are dealing with this 122.50 support and resistance level. So again, just like the euro here, we are going to look to see which way the prices are likely to break. If they stay below 122.50, we're looking for a move to the downside. If they break above, we are looking for push to the upside and the target will be 123.30 in that case. Looking at New Zealand dollar here, we had a nice pin bar close. We are in this range that we have been for the last uh, three days here. And as such, we were looking for this level to be tested 71.80. It did get tested. And now we may see a pullback into 71.80 and then a drop to the bottom of this range at 7100. So that will be the next target. So we are bearish on New Zealand dollar. 
looking at the one hour chart here, we may see a push either into this pivot level at 71.59 here, or we could even see a test of the high at 71.80. And then we could look for some sort of a double top formation and a drop overall. Based on the daily, though, we are bearish on this pair and looking for it to come and test the 71.05 level here. Aussie here has been very interesting as well. We saw CPI numbers which pushed it higher and it went and tested this high here, this pin uh, at 71.11 level here and then got rejected. We saw the inefficiency get filled and at this point we see a big pin bar. For now, we could see a move back up to test this level once again. Looking at the one hour chart here, if we stay below the pivot point, then we are likely to see the move to the downside first into S1, which is at 76.15 and then towards the bottom of the range here at 75.80 level. However, if the price starts to hold above the pivot point, then we are looking for another push to the upside at 77.10 level here. So again, in this case, we have to watch and see where the price will react if it holds below the pivot point, looking for a move to the downside. If it holds above the pivot point at 76.62, we're looking for a push to the upside. Here, this was the inefficient move that was created due to the inflation numbers. And as we can see here, it got filled very nicely. Looking at dollar cad here, we are bullish as we were watching this 3300 level. The price stayed above the 3300 level and closed with a bullish candle here. As such, we are bullish on dollar cad. The next level we're targeting is 13400. Once the price breaks through this 3400 level, we are looking for 134, 74 or 80 level up there. Looking at the one hour chart here, we may see a pullback into this pivot here at 133.50 level here and then a push back up into the top of the range right here. For the longest time, price stayed below this level, finally came and tested the bottom, did not break the low and pushed back up and then we have crossed this level and now we're looking for a move to the upside. Once the 3400 level breaks, the next target level here is R3, which is 134.74, approximately 134.80 level would be the next level we would be watching. That's it for now. I will see you in the trade room.